the formidable robot. Ho ho ho! Just as I finished writing the first one, the second part was uploaded on a torrent site and then later uploaded onto archiving websites. The episode accordingly came from a Best Buy Test Sample DVD. The entire second Christmas special on a sample DVD from Best Buy, who knew, the episode was directed by the same guy that directed Battlestar Galactica and Robotronicle, it were James Almas, and was written by Joseph Winters. The episode started immediately after the first one, with the camera focusing immediately on Mortimer outside, holding boxes. He was noticeably groaning before setting down the boxes with a thud, softening it from the snow. Mortimer let out an exhausted sigh. <sighs> Welcome back, mortals. We've got a decorative treat for you. What happens when something as simple as a decoration starts murdering random people? You'll soon find out with Inflatable Killer. The camera zooms before transitioning to nighttime, with two men plugging in their decorations. Well, we've got that situated. Chaz exclaimed, patting his friend on the back. Since when did we get that inflatable snowman? His buddy, Rick asked. Chaz looked at the snowman before saying, I think we got that from a garage sale. Rick nodded. I think so too. There wasn't really a box either way. The next day, with the decorations up, Chaz noticed something red. He went outside and checked. Um, Rick. Chaz screamed. Rick got his coat and boots on before running on the snow in the front yard. Rick saw what Chaz was screaming about. The mailman was laying on the snow, with what looked like a huge hole through his chest. You wouldn't think, Chaz asked, his voice trailing off. No, it wouldn't, Rick said, in shock. The montage shows more and more people dying in creative ways from the inflatable, with one being blasted by the coal on its body. Each of them popping off and smacking into the person with what sounded like a shotgun blast sound. That is it. Chaz screamed. He grabbed a pair of scissors and went for the inflatable, as this was happening. Rick was noticeably stammering in the background, trying to warn Chaz the potential risks. This figure should haunt us now. Suddenly, the inflatable arm grabbed Chaz with a death grip. Its face contorted into an evil look, like from the horror movie, Jack Frost. Its other hand plunged into Chaz's body with a gushing. His body was shoved through, with Chaz spurting blood out of his mouth. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Rick screamed, running away from this thing. There was a loud noise as two of the Christmas lights grabbed Rick. Rick fell into the snow as Rick was suddenly dragged, with him screaming. The episode ended with two detectives that should sound familiar. That's right, the voices for F rank and C9 were heard as references to Robotronicle, which would make sense. Detective Ken, F rank, looked at the blood on the snow. Looks like someone was gutted. He said, touching the snow. Detective Robert, C9, noticed it too. Yeah, maybe these decorations tell a story. He said, pointing to the bloody decorations, with the inflatable snowman still smiling. The screen fades and shows Mortimer, staring at his lights before he said, Oh my apologies. You know what they say, decorations are captivating to the eyes, even the murderous ones. <laughs> he said with a grim laugh. Well, this calls it. I'll see you all next time in my manor. Ta-ta, and Merry Christmas. Mortimer waved as the credits played. While it was amazing for some people to hear two familiar robotic voices as cameos, most people were thinking the show was losing its steam, like, really? A killer inflatable decoration that kills the two people? Most of the team had already left the studio, with most staying in to write and make more episodes. There were other planned holiday specials, but they were all cancelled due to one glaring problem. One problem that can be described in one episode. What is it? Find out soon. <laughs>